I like most about dressage is that you can do it with every horse. And also when you don't have a, a million dollar horse, you can still ride nice dressage tests. Hi, I'm Dinja van Lieren. This is Hartsuiker. Welcome to my place. Uh, a normal day is that I uh, normally always start here at, at home. So uh, maybe, yeah, I think uh, most of the time we start around eight. Uh, the horses are already fed then, so uh, uh, I immediately start riding at eight. And uh, then I ride a lot of horses here. And then in the afternoon, I go to Joop van Uitert, and uh, that's where Hermes is uh, standing. So I go to there, and then I ride Hermes. Uh, then I come back home, and I give lessons in the evening. And uh, yeah, then in the end of the evening, I will eat a little bit, and then uh, I go back to sleep. <laughs> I've been here now for uh, I think almost two and a half years. The property is from racing horses and I'm riding a lot of uh, stallions and a lot of horses <laughs> from, from racing. So uh, yeah, I started this uh, together with them, uh, with them uh, two and a half years ago. Yeah, of course, I really like stallions because they have a sort of a big ego and they always want to show themselves. And that's, uh, I think, in dressage, it's really good that, that you go in, uh, you enter an arena and when you have a sort of show boy who really wants to show himself, uh, I think that's really good. And I really like horses with a big ego. The special thing is the bond between a horse and a rider. And that's really, I think, with dressage, like day in and day out, you're together and training and to, to learn them all the tricks. And, and, and you really see how a horse develops and how he's, he's, uh, he understands some things and, and that he learns new things. I really like the progress you make with a, with a horse and, and I think of course, that's also with jumping, but I think especially with dressage that you really make a process to learn them all the tricks and to learn them the level that you want to ride. And uh, yeah, that, that's really cool and that's what I really like about dressage. So we're back at the stables. Here is Vaderland. A very cool seven-year-old gel uh, gelding stallion, of course. <laughs> uh, this is Leonidas. He's also seven. He is a gelding. And he's very, uh, I think he's very cool. He's uh, really a special one. And uh, this is Indy. Also a stallion. Uh, I ride small tour with him. I also did one time uh, Aken with him in the small tour. Oh, give him his ball back. <laughs> and here we have Mauro. He now turned uh, six. Uh, he also did uh, a lot of uh, stallion show, stallion competition. This is McLaren. He's really the big boy here, in the, here at the stable. Uh, he uh, breeds a lot, he's very sweet, very, very pretty also. Uh, he wins a lot here in Holland and, uh, and this is Vita di Lusso. <laughs> he's maybe not, he doesn't have the prettiest face, but he's very cool. I like him a lot. He's uh, really one of my favorite. He's now, he now turned eight 
and uh, he also has a lot of talent. I do now small tour with him. He does that very well. Actually, he didn't do a lot of competition, but uh, all the competition he does, he does very good. Yeah, I like him a lot. He, had a, he has a lot of power and a lot of go, and also very sweet. So uh, I think he's going to be my next Grand Prix horse, actually. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> you're so sleepy. So sleepy. Yeah. This is a uh, hot suiker. turned 10 years old. He's a Johnson Scandic uh, and I ride Grand Prix with him for now uh, a little bit more than a year actually. He's really growing so fast and he's getting better and better every competition and every day I have to say. So uh, it's, it's really cool to follow his progress because he's, he's, yeah, he's amazing. What he did last year is just uh, wonderful. He's, so, he's, uh, he's very sweet, he always wants to work, he's really willing to do his ultimate best for me and it's just so heartwarming to feel that he, that he gave everything again when he did a test and that, that's just uh, really cool. I think uh, he's getting a real star actually. Yeah, you went a poopy, eh? Oh, frito. So uh, there's my home, <laughs> that, that's where I live. So it's really close by, uh, by the stables and uh, I really can go to the stables anytime I like. So uh, that's very nice. And also here is also the breeding station. We can also go in. At the moment, of course, in the winter we don't use it, but uh, in the summer they use it a lot. The uh, young stallions are jumping, um, yeah, I think, Sometimes one times a week, sometimes three times a week. I think three times is a little bit maximum. But um, yeah, so they can do it here at home. That's very nice. They don't have to leave the stable. So uh, yeah, it's really nice that we have it here. Uh, yeah, Hermes is a very special horse. I'm also riding him already since he was three. He's now also uh, 10. Um, it's an easy game. And uh, uh, yeah, he's, he was always already very special actually, already when he was young. We then already could see that he had really uh, a lot of talent for Piaf. And uh, yeah, we always said like, okay, he is definitely gonna be a Grand Prix horse because he had um, yeah, he could do all the, the difficult things so easy and actually the, the easy things are maybe difficult for him but um, no, he was already very special. He also has a very big ego and he, he has a really special character but that's also what I love about him and uh, yeah, I already know him now so well and he knows me so well so uh, yeah, we really have a, a special partnership, I guess. Neue Führung im Preis der Familie Tisch. Neue persönliche Bestleistung für die beiden mit 78,022 Prozent. I was already so happy that I could ride Aachen for the first time with the seniors. I did some U25, but not seniors. So um, it was my uh, first time and uh, yeah. That then we had, then we won the first test. It was just crazy. I, he, I had such a good test, but I was also so focused, and he was so focused on me, and we were really uh, both, yeah, really wanting to show us ourselves. And um, 
uh, yeah, I also didn't I had a lot of nerve actually. I, we really wanted to do it right and uh, uh, I was very happy with my test and um, the crowd was just crazy. I thought, okay, then it maybe was also very good. And then I uh, saw my scores and they were like so much higher than I had before. So uh, that was already really a wow moment. And then uh, in the end, it uh, was also enough for the first place. So uh, that, that feeling was just crazy. And uh, yeah, I, I still, when I think about it, I still get a smile on my face because that was, I think, maybe one of the most amazing times of my life, I have to say. I, I won the first test and then he said like, okay, when I can win the second one, when I can win the freestyle, I can come on the board. So yeah, I dreamt for it for two days, but then uh, Isabel came and she was great as she is ever. So uh, yeah, of course she, uh, she did a fantastic job in the freestyle and there she won. So I thought like, yeah, okay, I have to do better next time. So of course it's a dream to be there on the board, yes, definitely. And here we have the tech room, also important, of course. Um, so yeah, we have the bridles here, the saddles there, and uh, I have a lot of saddle pads, so <laughs> they're also here. My favorite one is, of course, this. I really like the glitter. <laughs> this is really my favorite all times, actually. It's a lot of glitter and I really like uh, the creme color. So, yeah, this is definitely my favorite one. <laughs> but, of course, I like them all, actually. <laughs> I think this is my favorite helmet. Because, uh, yeah, I really love the pink, of course. And uh, this is where I always ride competitions with, normally. I also have a blue and pink jacket. So, yeah, this with the flower and with the pink, it really matches perfectly. So, yeah, I have to say, I think this is my favorite one. Yeah, I really like to make the outfits, like, completely styled. And, uh, yeah, for me, it's uh, very important. I, yeah, I like to, to look good and I like uh, that my horses look good. So, uh, yes, it's very important for me.